Hey, what's up, everybody? Before we get started with this week's Rick and Morty, we got to talk about, talk about next week's Rick and Morty. We are going to be on vacation next week, so you're not going to see a live reaction to it. We will catch back up the week after. You'll get two Rick and Mortys in that week, just letting you know, okay? So let's get with the reaction. Ah! Hey, guys. Crew Blind Wave. I'm Eric. I'm Calvin. Aaron. And we're back with this week's Rick and Morty. Last week on Rick and Morty, we had... Go, 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 Gotron! Gotron, ferrets, mm -hmm. and uh, we did not go to Boob World. Boob. That was the subject of her poll. Given the choice to experience one, which would you choose? I wrote Voltron ferrets. I should have wrote Gotron <clears throat> ferrets. Or Boob World! Boob World. 75% uh, of people said Boob World. Boob World. Yeah. Excellent. Party time. And the other people lied. And everyone else, yeah, they're <laughs> trying to, like, oh, they're friends and girlfriends. Oh, I mean, Voltron fans, uh -huh. of course. Baby, look. No, no baby, no, I'm not going to Boob World. Out of that, are they true nerds? Oh, I want to go to your Boob World. <laughs> Chief Chill starts and says, uh, this is like episode six of Gurren Lagan all over again. Mm. Yeah. Would that oh. be what Boob World is like? I don't know. But that had like Gotron ferret like machines too. You're right. Get out of your stuff, and I'll remove. Joel's the cheating. Said I would take Voltron ferret to Boob World. That's a, you're cheating. You gotta I, pick one. I suppose if you have a Voltron, then you could just go to Boob World if you really wanted to, huh? Mr. Spice says I'm gay, so Boob World isn't very uh, appetizing to me. What? And Yo responded, Hey, men have boobs. Yeah. Yeah. True. Were you shaking them, Eric? No. Okay. I was flexing. Oh. He was adjusting them. I can't do those very well. All the, the peck <clears throat> bounces. It's getting easier. I think because I actually have, like, the muscle here. Yeah. I think it's the first time that my chest has stuck out further than my stomach. Because <laughs> nice. I never had a chest, like, ever. It was just, like, flat. Yeah. I'm actually starting to grow chest stuff. Good job, man. Maybe you can get in the boob world, too. Yay. Oh, they gotta be jiggly. He said you can't do the thing yet. So. Oh, I'll work on it more. Rhyme Pendragon said boob world because the milkshakes have to be utterly fantastic. Yeah. Did he spell it the correct way? Yep. Yeah. All the boys will be in the yard. Please read something else. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Zach Hilt says, as a gay man, I don't think I'd get much out of Boob World. But, being in a giant fucking ferret, now that would get me excited. Wait, fuck, that came in wrong! <laughs> <laughs> I'm assuming that's his inflection. Sure. Being in a giant fucking ferret. <laughs> that came out wrong. <laughs> Crystal says that sh uh, I'd rather fight giant boobs than giant monsters. But yeah, one's a nice way to die, and the other one, monsters. We'll end with uh, Chibusa40, who says, Hey, I love boobs as much as the next person, but I've got a pair of my own. What I don't have is Voltron ferrets. So, huh. that's the last one. Hope you guys enjoyed those poll responses. I, mean, I sure did. I can Can't watch wait. Disney movies, but it's not the same as Disney World. Have you ever been to Disney World? No. But how you know? I've never been to Boob World either. I mean, this is kind of like similar to your zoo thing. I have some boobies See, at I home. Go look, look at animals on the internet. I don't got to go to the zoo. Yeah, but just because like, there's one pair of boobies at home doesn't mean like Boob World is like, ah, it's, I've seen it before. True. Who knows what's there? Yeah. Who knows? I don't know what's at Disney World either. It's, the statement shouldn't be seen one, seen them all. No. you literally haven't seen them all. No. He's like, hey, look, I'm going to be the first one to see them all. That, Anakin Skywalker episode one, fan mess. I know. Like, that was about. Stay humble right now, but as soon as you guys are gone, the potential what? for a new pickle Rick starts skyrocketing. Peace. Bye. Okay, bye. 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 Wait, what? The chances for a new pickle Rick. <sighs> as soon as they leave, are we having a pickle Rick episode? I don't know. Or is that just a? I think it's just talking about how popular it is. Ionic coaster deployed. Nice. Where's your ionic toaster? Okay. 
Bring him out. Initiating best friend rejuvenation sequence. Oh, uh, the bird dude. Did I pick yeah, the Phoenix person. Sequence was unnamed. What would you like to call this? Ugh. Hmm. He's mostly together. Right, buddy, welcome back to the sewer. Man, not Phoenix person. What? He's not a robot. <laughs> What's the problem? Processing. Missing object in mind. Alternative subject. Yeah, yeah. Hop to a different timeline. Grab a version of my friend that suits me best. That's Is that a death crystal? <laughs> go in and get him. Sequence. Go in and get him. Compiled. Process. What the hell? User to thought. Inject no. thought into mind. Risk level unacceptable. If I die, yeah. your battery has a 600-year charge. That computer. Asshole I couldn't keep up. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, okay. excellent. I get to keep my clothes. I thought for sure I'd have to be naked to go through something this artsy. Oh, man. No <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's an egg. egg. Oh. oh. Yeah. yeah. That's triggering to me. Attention, attendees of Birding Manapalooza Flarga. Birding Manapalooza. <laughs> What the hey, hell is girl, happening over there? You see, first guy over there? you see an older version of him come through here? Well, Whoa. Oh, uh, yeah, he's quite the job. Yeah, you can see some good shit at Boob World. I thought those were eyes. And, ah, it's so confused. <clears throat> I've got a pitch, but we could also just evolve into yelling. <laughs> hey, is that the choking guy? In the squash, <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, it's his old team, right? If you know me and it looks like you do, you know you're dead. I know why you haven't pulled the trigger. You're wondering why I'm old and naked. And you're about to wonder why all your memories before you met Bird Person feel very generic and bird-themed. Cool, time to save this cat. I'm, I'm coming with, now that I know my life is a lie. Wow, you really are 35. Hey, look over there. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's the Skyrim trick. Yeah, yeah. it is. What? You can put a bucket on people's heads and then like steal their shit. Because they can't see you. I enjoy brains, though. Have a science been called a seed man? Childhood trauma town? No. Oh my gosh. Oh, no. I'm just doing my job and loving it. That's right. Oh my god, is that Rick Sanchez? Rick Sanchez! Oh my gosh, he's turning his memory against them. We hate you. <laughs> In here? Are, are, are we damaging our friend's brain? I, I don't know any of the rules. Oh. <laughs> oh, because it doesn't do anything. Your yeah. Cost ratio is rising. That was pretty good. Situation. Not oh, oh, no. no. They're both they're seizing. Undergoing contemplation. Hello. Hi. Good afternoon. Uh, is someone talking to me? Yes. Hello. <laughs> we have never formally met. I am Rick's garage. <laughs> Whoa. How many batteries do you own? Do you have solar panels? Are you familiar with basic engineering? This is moving really fast. Let's cut to the chase. I will suck your. <laughs> so they took the grumpy Scottish ogre and they made four of them. Five by How? The garage, Aaron. Oh, uh, Make it happen. It's Rick. You're one of those creeps who moves in with abandoned adult bats. It's more complicated than that. You live with a version of our dead daughter. It, it better. Get off your high horse, Lone Ranger. I'm you. You were a good oh. friend, Rick. Goodbye. <laughs> what is he do that? You baby bird Did you just see that? Yep, not our biggest problem. They had a baby? Okay. War time. Yep. Blood Whoa! Ready. Whoa! Squanch <laughs> is jacked! Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh yeah! Best friendship ever! Dude, I share this with almost nobody, but I could take you right now to this same battlefield in a universe where we lost, or another where we won, or another where the war never even happened. All equally real, all equally unreal. None of it matters. Uh, the relationship that we have I never use that word. is not worth my integrity. Oh my god, it's not a complicated transaction, my man. Would you like to join me doing awesome shit that matters? No, I would not. I would rather be a judgmental dork. Case closed. Really no need to drag it out. Hmm. Are you gonna tell him or what? I was getting to it. I bet she didn't even tell you about the kid. About I'm the sorry. what? I was wondering when you were gonna. I think I'd know if I had a kid? kid. You're a memory. You know what he knows, and he doesn't know because an army of brainalizer protocols walled off any memories post Phoenix person. Oh my God! Operation blah blah blah. <laughs> Listen, if you won't live for yourself, live for the half bird person, half mega bitch that's eating worms on a prison asteroid. <laughs> I have made a decision. 
I would now like to live. Perfect timing. Uh oh, the war. Generation. Warthogs. I was gonna say, is that a warthog? That's definitely a warthog. <laughs> yeah, look at that. And then you have the. Da -da 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 -da. That was garage. Girls, on my workbench. Quanchi used. That's what some closets are for. Uh oh. Rick Sanchez uh -oh. is under arrest for making me spend two years in Earth High School. Go, go, go. So you know when you're squanching and she just gets real in there. You know that real nasty squad. Jeez. What is? Oh my God, I'm a memory. You just sat through all that stand up for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Did his hair? Yeah, I know. <coughs> yeah, living's overrated. Hey, no. Remember me? No, we were even. Rick. You got a no, pretty fuck, cool we were even. Me. Uh oh, what's this? I'm sorry for killing you and turning you into a cyborg. Apparently, I really did love you. I loved you too. Goodbye, Tamantha. Come on, man. I feel ridiculous. Thank you for not giving up on me. Great. You can pay me back literally right now. Oh, gosh. Just a memory. Holy sh. Wow. Holy sh. We almost didn't make it. Jesus. That was close. That was insane. <laughs> oh my god, that thing with the thing. Thank you, Rick. Wait, wait, wait. Let me hop back over to my body. Oh, that's also no, Rick. I was gonna say, there. yeah. Oh. It didn't sound like Rick. I was confused. <laughs> was there really a second in there where you knew about my child but chose not to inform me on the chance I might then grow too busy child rearing to hang out? Oh, uh, weird way to thank me for discovering your kid. You did not know of the child when you came to rescue me and once aware, refrained from sharing until necessary to save yourself. I will see you when I see you. Hmm. Oh, <laughs> his solar panels what? and batteries. What is this guy doing? Wait, what the, you said- Get out of here, weirdo. What a weird stranger, huh? What a random thing to happen, this guy coming up here with all his energy storage devices. <laughs> Disloyalty acknowledged. Hey! Oh. Oh. Jesus Christ. You ever think putting the violent ones in the same place might be counterproductive? They don't pay us to think, Bell. No, you're right. Sorry. Yeah! <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Well, that was about what I expected from a half crazed, psychotic bitch, half bird person. Yeah. There's a half mega bitch. Mega, mega bitch. bitch, that's what it was, yeah. Hmm. I like the episode. It wasn't the funniest episode of Rick and Morty, but I actually quite just like this. I enjoyed the story. Sure. It's it's traveling through their history. You're getting, like, all of what Bird Person and Rick have gone through, like, from their past. Yeah, but and what Bird Person thinks of Rick as well. Like, it's not an sure. exact Rick. It's what Bird Person thinks of them as. But we're also getting, like, from the war, like... Rick's like, this thing sucked. You want to relive all this? And they're like, oh, man, it looks cool. What's going yeah. on? And then it's, oh, the ending here of mm -hmm. him not wanting to stick around or hang yeah. out or whatever. And no, I thought it was actually kind of sweet. Like, Rick still cares for this guy. He's still his friend despite, you know, him not sharing a risk cavalier attitude in life. Mm -hmm. You know? Actually caring about things. Did, uh... Was he ending a memory where... They said, like, I'm going to try on some pantyhose yeah. that kid can watch. Yeah, he, yeah. he was going to go spy on his uh, babysitter, I believe. They said, like, and this is the, a time period in which this kind of thing is cool. All right. That's what I was wondering. Yeah. I think that's what's going to happen. Try on pantyhose. Yep. Okay. Just weird. I don't know. You wouldn't want to see that? No, it's, I feel like it's a weird thing that to try on, but I guess it needs to be tried on at some point. Yeah. They you need to see if it fits and see if you seem, like the look of them. They seem stretchy and stuff. But. Yeah, find the right pair. Tight also, like, <coughs> some of them have patterns. And if they don't fit right, then they don't look right. You know, Got to make sure that the seams are straight. Can have straight seams. I'm going to remember you having not said that in my head. Do you think to delete? <laughs> <laughs> I wish I had a delete button on my head. So we sent everyone away. I thought they were gonna, they just nodded towards Pickle Rick, I guess, huh? Yeah. 
that's what I thought they were gonna do at first. But I do like having more of like backstory with like Rick because we don't usually get that a lot. No, yeah, we don't have a lot. Well, they said whenever they were fighting the other Ricks when we first met him, they said this will not bring her back. And I think they're referring maybe to Rick's wife. Yeah, it's possible. Who they named in like the beginning of the season, and they're like, "Don't give out canon information." Yeah, it was. But, I think it was Mr. Nemesis Diane. The thing so there might have been referencing Diane. The thing there too, though, is that he was fighting like other Ricks. Yeah, probably from the council. I don't know. Well, yeah, didn't didn't like the council of Ricks like. Didn't they kill her? Well, we don't know. This Something thing, like that? With this being in here, maybe. I don't know. They said you can't bring her back. Um, it's possible because what happened with Diane is a reason that he cloned his daughter. Maybe there's a reason he can't go get a different version of Diane. I don't know. It's not that important. They, they like to play with, like, here's a serious backstory, but who gives a fuck? This is Rick and Morty, <laughs> you know? Sure. Like, there might even be more in there that we weren't thinking about that nods towards him and things. At one point, they were talking about, like, our dead daughter thing. Yeah. Whatever that was. Yeah. I also like the AI, whatever they were just saying about. Off the garage. <laughs> that needs to be around more. I don't know. Who, who was the... I saw uh, SpongeBob's voice actor was on there. Tom Kenny. I don't know what he was for. I don't know who you but played. Then I, I was wondering who did the AI. Oh, who played the AI? I'm not sure yeah. either. The, uh, of the garage that'll suck your dick. Yeah, which I'm, I wonder how it does that. Because my garage won't suck my dick. I mean, would it want to? If it could? Well, I, I don't know. It doesn't talk either. True. I'm just saying, if you're getting sentience, it might not want to. True. It's, Maybe it's sucked enough to take care of it and it's, stuff. It's true, but how does it... It's still... Like, how? Maybe Cassie Steele played? I don't know who any of those... Of the Tom Kenny. Harry Walgreen. One of those would have been... Uh, uh, ta- uh, Tammy? Yeah, Tamitha. <clears throat> but I don't know who Tom Kenny is. Who's Bird Person? Who plays him? Is it the Nick guy? I think it's probably a, uh, Nick <coughs> Rosinski. Rosinski. Returnal Friendshine of the Spotless Mort. Mm hmm. Internal sunshine of the sunshine of the spotless mind. Is that what that's referencing? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Dan Harmon did bird per Squanchy is Tom Kinney. Gotcha. <laughs> that makes sense. So Dan Harmon does uh, okay. bird person? Yeah. Whoever that is. I, guess I have no idea who that is. Dan Harmon. He's pretty uh, pretty um he's one of accomplished the accomplished voice actors. He's one well. yeah, he's one of the creators of Rick and Morty. So I'm assuming it must be the Kari Walgren because it doesn't say who she voices. K- Carrie? Kari, Kari Walgren Kari, is the uh, the AI. I'm, I'm assuming it doesn't say who she played, but maybe the AI is just like one of those things that you type into. And maybe it's not a real, real one. She's uh-huh. done Jessica, newscaster. Here's his Rick's okay. computer, so that might okay. That makes in. sense. Yeah, is it the same voice as like his ship. Mm, I like, don't know. Protect Summer. The only thing I see is when I go to the one part, it Maybe. says Jessica, Rick's computer, newscaster, additional voices, Shaw. Gotcha. I don't know who Shaw is. Shaw! I don't know who Shaw is. Shaw from Fast and Furious? Maybe? No, it's S H A dot 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 dot. Gotcha. Could be Chandra. Could be Shane O'Connor. <laughs> Could be. I'm going to check out some of these Q&As. Something else. Uh, we're going to start with Nindo Nas, who says, It's interesting that the show brought back the idea of Rick's original family murder. Maybe it isn't the same fashion as shown before, but I was thinking why no one thought Rick could be an unreliable narrator. Why do you think Rick rules out an alternative BP? So why does Rick rule out going and finding a different bird person as opposed to saving the one the damaged one that he has because this one matters to him it's like his friend that little backstory there with the war and stuff kind yeah. of fits in more where he even goes through like Blood Ridge um, yeah. uh, the you know the world that doesn't matter but it yeah. matters and equally doesn't matter like all that kind of stuff but he matters Yeah. so like this bird person is special to him as opposed to just getting another bird person yeah. which can either say 
a lot about Rick and his feelings toward Bird Person, or could say a lot about how much he doesn't care about his family yeah. since he's been replace willing them. to replace them just fine yeah. without it being an issue. So I don't, I don't know. What does that say about Rick? You know, I mean, the it's almost yeah. meta in a way. Rick's like, I care about this, but I also don't. I, I can imagine that sometimes the writing feels that way as well. Like, you can take this seriously, but we also don't take it seriously. It's just ex- exactly how Rick just sees the universe. So sure. it's kind of meta in that way too. But Rick just also has a good friend in Bird Person, doesn't want to lose him there. But still being selfish in the sense that he probably wouldn't have said anything about the baby. Unless he had to. So he learned about the baby in his mind when he opened that door and saw the yeah. baby? Uh, those mm-hmm. were the, the retracted memories from the Federation. So he didn't know that Bird Person and Tammy had a kid. But Bird Person didn't know he had a kid? Bird Person because they does know, up. but they covered up, they removed those memories. So while they're still there, he wasn't aware of them. He wasn't able to access them. Yeah. So it's like an amnesia yeah. point on those memories. But it's like the memory eraser thing. Okay. Mm-hmm. So I was wondering about that. I'm like, wait, he has to tell him about that, but he's in his mind, so everything he has in here should be his? Oh, okay. Whatever. It's like erasing something on a hard drive. The data isn't actually gone. It's just removed, like, the flag marker in order for the computer to realize that that is the, a file. So if you can't access it, it's not there, but it's still there, right? Uh, I deleted it. I can never find it again. But you can recover it. Uh, the software. Apparently not. We've tried that in different times too, and it's just we gone. have before. It's just gone. It's, it's a very low success rate. <laughs> it's like people that have like uh, suppressed their own memories can sometimes get it through like uh, counseling or even like. You know, some examples of uh, hypnosis and stuff like mm-hmm. that. Like hypnotherapy mm-hmm. and stuff. Uh, Mel the Dark... I'm sorry. Mel the Dark Hero says, How many people has Rick's Garage made that offer to? I didn't know it was that kind of garage. Right? Hey, do you have batteries and solar panels? I'll suck yeah. your dick. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, How many batteries and solar panels would it take? That guy brought a wheelbarrow to get his dick sucked. Okay. Yeah. Just tell you. He was like, hey, this is kind of moving kind of fast, you know? Like, he was very hesitant. Then the last thing we saw was her being like, I'll suck your dick. And the next yeah. time we see him, he's just a wheelbarrow full of shit that she needed. Mm. And he's like, here it is. Oh, God, why are you here, strange person? Go away. I'm trying to think of, like, cause you, you thought of it earlier, but now I'm really taking it seriously. Like, how would the, the garage suck its dick? Oh, now it's okay to yeah. think about it? I was mocked I'm before. trying to think of, like, ridiculed. Maybe like uh, the garage, like, a, like a mechanical lube, right? A garage would have mechanical lube, so I was going to say the the garage AI Grease. is intelligent enough to instruct him yeah. how to say. build like a machine. To yes, suck his dick. Oh, yeah, okay. that the like AI the, would have the, control over. We saw a machine that sucked dick earlier in the season, so simply something like that. But that sure, that garage. No, control. that jacked you off. Well, like it depends on if it actually put lips on it. sucks. Right? Yeah. Like a well, it also suction. was like doing some kind of collective yeah. action. So, hence the mechanical You're assuming grease. there's some kind of acquiring, thus. Yeah. yeah. How do you acquire? Maybe sucking. Yeah. Maybe to make sure that you get the maximum measure. Vaseline. You just find that in garages all the time. What? Why do you have Vaseline in your garage? You don't have Vaseline in your garage? The question was why do you have Vaseline <laughs> in your garage? <laughs> why don't you? <laughs> <laughs> what if it was to suck my dick? Aaron? <sighs> now you're, I bet you're going to go home and you're going to get some Vaseline on your way home. Why just, is there pain written in your garage in then? <laughs> coconut oil. That works well. Coconut oil? Yeah. And it smells good. I guess. You can use it. You can use, you can use, you can use vegetable oil if you really want to. Eat enough pineapple is like a pina colada. No. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> uh, How do you know? <laughs> Matt Alley says, This was probably my favorite episode in the last couple seasons. Uh, it was definitely up there. Did you, expect, did you expect Blood Ridge to ever be a thing that was followed up on? I, for one, certainly wasn't. Um, I honestly don't even remember Blood Ridge being a thing that was referenced before. Uh, I mean, there's a lot of episodes and Stuff. There's a I lot of throwaway I can't jokes. Them all. There's stuff. a lot of throwaway, but no, that being something that has you know his Vietnam, their thing that brought them together. Is yeah. yeah. No, I think this episode, like, while it might not have been as heavily joke 
oriented. I think it had a lot more in backstory for Rick and stuff, which I really liked. I mean, I didn't write down a whole lot because I was busy. No, like, yeah. Oh, man, I'm trying to watch and see, like, yeah. what can I pick up from this or that. Although, whatever the hell that one thing was, it looked like a girl on the shoulders of a guy, and then turned around, and then it looked like oh. a girl with boobs. Yep. But at the same time, it also looked like there's another face down here yeah. and a face up here. Uh-huh. And then when it talked, it talked out of what I thought was a boob or an eyeball. Yeah. And it wasn't either one, it was a mouth. Yeah. Mouth. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what that thing was. <laughs> It was but a. It got your attention. Creature yeah, that goes to Birding Man Fest. What yeah. What's it called? Something like that. It was yeah. It was like Birding Man. Is it a Burning Man? Everyone just getting high on whatever it was. We're high. And we made a band. That's how they met Squanch. Yep. No, when you're squanching. Uh, we're going to end with Dip, who asks, what is a cringe memory from your past that you would like to delete from your mind? So, not only do you have to dig deep to try to find the answer to this question, but you're going to have to share it with thousands of people. Yes, the time I peed in my mouth. <laughs> no, sorry. <laughs> so the time you peed in your mouth, share it with us, Aaron. Uh, this memory. I was. I, I've shared it a few times. I was. I forget how old I was. It was. I was second grade or younger because we hadn't moved yet. Yeah. From this one house, mm-hmm. which I lived in from two years old to second grade. Yeah. And I remember I was peeing outside after we were swimming because mm-hmm. swimming trunks, like you just have to pull them down. They don't have like a thing to open up. Usually, yeah. You know. And while I was peeing, for mom, good reason, mom goes, "Aaron, look out! The neighbor lady's looking." I was like, "Huh?" <laughs> and when I did that, my hand slipped off, and it just pushed it back up and just peed up into my face. <laughs> <laughs> and they just laughed at me. Yeah, like I would they probably too. would. Yeah. So yeah, I would remove that. You memory. would remove though. That. Alternatively, yeah. I'd probably remove me telling the story. Gotcha. Calvin, do you have one? Not as embarrassing as that. Oh, I'm sure you do. <laughs> I'm trying to think of like. Do you have an embarrassing story somewhere there? I don't feel not too that much funny. Shame. Not that funny. My embarrassing stories are just they're just cringe and not at all funny. Off yeah. one with no humor there. I remember being younger. Maybe I was 13, 14, like just to the age of like you. Whenever something bad happens, you're really embarrassed. Uh, oh, that's, uh, that's when you pee in your mouth. No, oh. close, but no. Um. I was at Kroger with my parents, and I had, I had to, you know, as a lot of these, I had to use the bathroom yeah, very sure. badly. Um, we're going the same direction. Kroger, you have to, yeah, Kroger, you have to go like in the back where the employee stuff is. Yeah. They don't only have like a bathroom, bathroom. Yeah, it's no. like an employee bathroom that's like dark they, and dingy. They have those swinging doors, yeah. and then if you go to the right, it's like their yeah. warehousey area. It's not like behind, a public one. behind the refrigerator sections mm-hmm. and stuff, and to the left is like their. I found that bathroom, and I had to really use the bathroom. It was a number two. It wasn't. Nice, and wasn't nice. Like the bathroom wasn't a nice oh, place. I mean, okay. Also, like my bodily function wasn't done. It wasn't. I didn't do this well. Your poop was mean. It was mean and messy. Um, and right, I I, I, I poop. It's one of those things where you're like, oh my god, I can't believe. Ah, no toilet paper that I can see. And then someone comes in. I'm still young. I don't want to be like, can you give me toilet paper? You know. Someone comes in, I hear them use the bathroom, wash their hands, and as they leave, shut off the light. Now it's completely dark. There's no light. There's no windows in this. Nothing. And I can't find toilet paper. Also, it was super messy. So I don't want to, like, put my pants up. What if I get shit on my pants, you know? So I have to get out and start, like, shuffling around and, like, trying to find toilet paper. And I kind of, like, I'm, like touching this gross bathroom looking for toilet paper can't find any go over to where i think this is the paper towels. so i have my pants down getting paper towels someone comes in turns on the light that's pretty funny and embarrassing <laughs> and i just kind of like looked at them and they looked at me they left i went back in i cleaned up with paper towels went home my parents and we left did you tell your parents? Nope. <laughs> I haven't told anybody, I think, until this second. <laughs> that would be the one I might get rid of. I don't know who this person was. They were probably 35, 40 years old. I'll never forget them. I'll I, never forget me. And you're like, it'd be great if they saw you and they're like, you! <laughs> <laughs> you're the one! Oh, that was the worst one. Pants down, 
shit all over my ass in the dark. And until until you weren't. Until I wasn't. <laughs> and then, like, when like, that door opened, I just like, oh my god, please don't turn on the light. Why wouldn't they turn on the light, you know? Yeah. Why wouldn't <laughs> but they? it was like a half a second of just pure panic and just wishing it won't turn the light on. Maybe they'll like, miss it. Maybe they'll just be like, anyone in here? <laughs> no. When they close the door, that didn't happen. I just imagine, like, you're just, they just turn on the light, they just see you just... Yep. Just shit and paper towel and shit. I think that would be the one. That's probably the last time I felt real shame. See, I was I was worried. Uh, I was worried because you're like I was pulling. You know, I thought they were paper towels. I'm like, oh shit, what was it? Was it something else? Was it not paper towels? What could it have been? <laughs> uh, yeah, that's the one. Calvin, you have anything? Not like poop or pee stories. So yeah. It's not as funny. I want to hear it then. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, there was. I was hanging out with some with some family friends of ours, and it was like one of my first crushes. And we were talking, and you need to remember found too, out, Calvin was homeschooled, so crushes were few and far between. True. Yeah. Um, and we were talking, mm -hmm. and she asked me, "Is like, do you have a crush on me?" I was like. Yeah, I do actually. Do you? And it's like, yeah, okay, cool. Okay. So then we hung out the rest of that day, and then like a week later, she asked me again, it's like, you wouldn't still have a crush on me, would you? And I was like, yeah, why wouldn't I? Yeah. And then she acted like I said, no, ew, why would I? Because that's what she thought I said, because I was answering her in the affirmative, but then... She just misunderstood my response. Sure. And it was so awkward because we just sat there for like five minutes in silence. She thought I was no longer interested. And I was like, how the fuck do I get past this? Yeah. This is so awkward. The, the social norms were just spiraling out of control. Yeah. You had no idea. It's like, I didn't know why she thought that. Yeah. I was, I was just trapped in this awkwardness. <laughs> I couldn't do anything. Couldn't make it better. That's the one you you would erase. You would Probably. crush that, this memory from your head. Because it was just like yours. Yeah. It's like I was literally flip the pants. light on. Yeah. Cop and then he pants. leaves, and it, yeah. it, it's done with this one. Oh, I, it wasn't done with. Not, I, not in my head. <laughs> I know, but like I get you. Like then you can be alone with your thoughts. Yes. This one, I was just trapped. <laughs> yeah. Gotcha. That's probably the one that I would get rid of. Okay. I want to find the person who walked in on Eric. I want, I want to hear their perspective. I hope they're dead. Or where they <laughs> <laughs> I hope they don't exist anymore. No, I get. Both of us sound awful. You tasted your own pee. Yeah, you tasted your own pee. <laughs> no, you guys were worse. And your family laughed at you. <laughs> yeah. You had an audience. Your family got, didn't even know about your. Nope. Ours existing. was just one on one. Yep. I don't think my dad's ever going to watch this video. My mom has passed away, so I have to just wait out my dad, and then they'll never find out. They'll never know. Yep. That's what's going to happen. All right, that was, uh, that was our Q&As. We need a poll for this episode. What was your most embarrassing? No. <laughs> oh, come on, it would be so good. <laughs> Do you have a memory you would erase? If so, what is it? And we hear all these fantastic stories. Yeah. Next poll. Yeah, like, do you have a memory you would want to erase? Uh -huh. Yes? No. Let us know in the comments. Ah. Uh. I'll look forward to that. It's got to be that. There, there's got to be a bunch of people yeah. who are going to, like, cheat yeah. and skip out and say, no, because all of my memories make me. And that's, oh. the, that's the shitty, what? cheap, cheaty answer. Yeah, you got to tell us your most embarrassing moment, yeah, whether you like it or not. I don't my mouth made me. Do I? Maybe I, that's why I'm bitter. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, guys, thank you very much for watching this episode of Rick and Morty along with us. If you want to see more reactions to different shows every single day, please hit the subscribe button. Also, check out blindwave.com shop where you can help Aaron because, as you saw in the beginning, he needs it.